Today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, we're out here in my garage. I went to Lowe's today. I bought a three drawer cobalt workbench. So we're going to be unboxing and assembling that tonight. Assembling? Assembling that tonight. Um, hopefully it goes fairly easy. Um, it's three drawer, hardwood top. It's got a pegboard on top and a light. So, so let's get on with the unboxing here and uh, we'll see uh, how bad this thing is to put together. Uh, if you hear any noises, my dog is out in the garage with me, so she's probably chewing on a drag radio or something. All right, so we're gonna unbox it here. If you're, like, if you're like me and you keep losing utility knives, just go to your wife's uh, knife set in the kitchen and grab one of these bad boys. It cuts any strap on any box fairly easily. All right, so let's open this up and see what we got inside. Do not return the load. Call customer service. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Does come with all the required hardware. Guessing these are new instructions. This bag is not a toy. As far as I've gotten any instructions so far. Yep, so here are the instructions. All your pieces are in here. I'm gonna jump ahead a bit here and just kind of match the pieces up to what I have in the instructions and then when I'm ready to start assembling I'm gonna get back on camera here and we'll build it together. All right so we're gonna get started here finally. Um, one thing I did do I did actually get started about 10 seconds into it and I was flipping the, the bench up here on its side trying to get the legs lined up and whatnot and it was scraped on the concrete so I went and got an old uh, moving blanket. If you have an old moving blanket, regular blanket old towels, whatever, just put something down on the floor so you're not scraping up the bench when you're uh, assembling it. I mean, it's not gonna affect it other than cosmetically, but I'm just one of the guys that try to take care of their stuff and uh, keep it looking good. So uh, yeah, it'll save you some uh, heartache when you finish your new workbench and it's all gouged on the side because you're scraping it on concrete. One thing I did notice uh, as I was picking it up, moving around a little bit here, uh, I'm not super impressed with the quality, uh, and I probably shouldn't say that. Uh, it just seems a little flimsy. Uh, this is the base, but it does say this holds up to 120 pounds, and each drawer is supposed to hold 100 pounds. So three drawers plus the base is, what, four, 420? I did math. And uh, plus whatever you have on the pegboard and whatever you have on top. So I think it could be just like, you know, the three-sided cardboard box thing where it's flimsy. So I'm hoping, you know, I, I start uh, assembling here, we add a little rigidity to the to the unit. So it's not a knock on the unit, just first impression taken out of the box and moving around a little bit. So uh, we're going to get started here and uh, I'm going to use that uh, shelf over in the corner there kind of as a extra set of hands, so to speak. So when I get this lined up, it's not kind of dangling on the weight of the, the weight of the shelf. It just... Uh, All right, so I got the first two legs on here. Uh, as you can see, it's two screws in the front, two on the side, and obviously the same on uh, on this side of the unit. Um, it is nice, the there all the pieces are numbered, lettered, whatever you want to say that correspond to the instructions, and it only goes on one way. Like you can't put this on backwards because the holes aren't going to line up. So that's uh, it. Really is idiot proof that way. So that. That's kind of nice for idiots like myself. So after step two, this is what you're going to be looking like. You're going to have your base assembled with your four legs. I do want to point something out here. Um, I've been through step two here, 
And uh, ironically, I made the comment that this thing's kind of idiot proof that it only lines up one way with the bolt holes. So I uh, did step one there with the left legs and then I went down to step two with the right legs. So uh, if you see uh, in step one, uh, one L is in the back. Then you rotate it uh, 180 degrees to uh, do the right side. And what they call one L in the first one, the longer piece, is now two L in the second one. So uh, I tried to put a five R across from two L and it holes don't line up, like I said earlier. So um, yeah, I think there's an error in the directions, but like I said, thankfully it's idiot proof. We're gonna just keep pressing on here and hopefully everything else lines up and I don't have too many extra pieces. So step three, you're going to put uh, your sliders in on the left side. Looks like a fairly easy process. So you have your sliders here. Make sure they're facing the front of the unit. And you simply uh, line up the bolt holes, three on each side. And you got one there, one in the middle, one on the bottom. And I can't hold the camera and uh, use the drill. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and attach this. So I went ahead and... Uh, Put the sliders on the left side, and then the next step, if we come around here, you can see there's a, you put the side piece on there, and I didn't realize it, but there's some pegboard there, so uh, I bought a couple accessories today, too. I'm going to put my screwdrivers over here, so I'll, uh, I'll get to them after this thing's assembled, but it's, uh, it's getting a little late. My wife's uh, right above me in bed. She has to get up early for work tomorrow, so I'm going to call it a night, and we'll finish this video tomorrow. All right, so we're back at it here. Uh, one thing I've done so far is I... Uh, did the next two steps, which is put the sliders on the right side and then your outside panel here on the right side. And it's a mirror image of the left, same thing. Uh, six screws for the sliders, four screws for the panel. And now we're off to putting the rear panel on. So the next step is you put the back panel on. I'm not gonna bore you showing me putting every, every screw into this thing, but it's uh, yeah, just two screws on that side, two screws on that side. Uh, when you're putting it on, make sure those slots there are pointed down. It says that in their directions, but if you're like me and don't read the directions, point them down. All right, so we got the front bar on there, the main, whatever you want to call it, front piece there where it says cobalt. And uh, now that it's a four-sided structure, it definitely does feel a lot more sturdy. So the next step after you put the front piece on there is you're putting in what they call the intermediate slide support, which is for your drawers. It fits right in the middle here. It is uh, that piece right there. Uh, come around the front here. You can see there's four holes in the back and they get lined up with the four uh, slots there. And that's why you wanted to point those downward when you're installing the back. And there's, of course, two in the front. <laughs> two in the front here to get lined up as well. So uh, we're going to do this next. And uh... Okay, so we got that center part in there. Um, as you can see, I left it loose because uh, that is how your drawers slide in to line up on both sides. So I didn't want to crank it down and then go to put the drawers in and it's off by a little bit. So I, I gave myself a little wiggle room in there to get, get everything lined up with the drawers as we... Uh, Continue on and get to that part of the assembly. So we're up to step 11, and step 11 was lay the wood uh, tabletop down. So it's actually starting to look like a workbench now. All right, so we're getting ready to put the shelves in the unit. Uh, apparently you have to assemble the shelves, which seems a little odd to me. I don't know. Like you buy a toolbox and the shelves are in the box and you put them in the... You know, you can put the shelves in the box and you're good to go. I mean, at least the one that, that I have, and I just... I just have a cheapie from Lowe's, so I can't imagine buying a good box and having to build your own shelves. But uh, anyway, it is what it is. But uh, so shelves come like this. You fold up the sides, fold up the back. See, there's a screw hole there in the corners. And then the same thing in the front. You take your front of the shelf. And attach that at the corners and it goes underneath. So you'll lift the shelf. All right, so what I was trying to show you there when I was getting frustrated trying to put the, when you're putting the front of the shelf on, there's a lip 
there's a lip and it goes underneath the shelf. So then it attaches like that, hole there, hole in the bottom two on each side. All right, so I uh, got the shelf assembled and it, it does feel like a fairly sturdy unit after you put everything together. Uh, next step is there's two small shelves. So we got to do this again on the next one. I'm not gonna explain any of that. Same exact thing, I'm just gonna go ahead and toss that one together quick. All right, so we got the two small drawers built. Uh, next step is to build the, the large drawer. Uh, and it's the exact same process. You can see I have it on the bench here. You're gonna flip up both sides, flip up the back, insert screws, put the front on, um, you know, same process. So again, not gonna show you, but uh, that's your next step in getting this bench together. Okay, so the next step is to put the drawers in the unit. Um, so they have you pull the slides all the way out. And you're gonna line the slides on the drawer up with uh, with that. And they said when you first put it in, you might uh, it might stop and get some resistance. So if it does, all I'm doing is folding the slide. Just put even pressure, and it should go right in. There we go, there's one drawer. So we're gonna repeat that with the other small drawer and then we're gonna put the, the large drawer underneath. And as you can see, the drawers are in, they're nice and uh, straight. So what I am gonna do at this time, you can see the two screws there, both the drawers and there's four in the back that hold the slides uh, in place. Everything seems to fit nice. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and zip them down quick just to, now that I'm satisfied with uh, the way the drawers fit. All right, so continuing on here, uh, we're, uh, Working on the back now where the pegboard goes. Um, so you have this uh, bottom part of the cage here with these three uh, little pegs sticking out. And you can see there's uh, three holes in the back there. So what you do is you slide this in and you're gonna push it right to lock it into place. So next up is the two side panels for the top. Uh, you can see they're marked left, right, and then they just, uh, back here, push that in the hole, slide it down, lock it into place, and then you make sure that the side panel fits behind the front, and then you're gonna attach it with uh, two screws there. You're gonna do the same thing on the right side. make sure it lines up and then attach it with the screws all right so next up we have uh, the hinged lid here the hinged lid that goes on top of the pegboard uh, first thing you got to do is you have a handle and that sits like that and then you run the two screws in from the back to put your handle on all right so after you put the handle on the top storage area there's a hinge that goes on the very top and there's five screws that goes across so what i did i stood up the pegboard on the floor i uh, put my two outside ones in just to hold it in place and then i went through and started the other screws and again just start them don't tighten down it gives you a little bit of wiggle room to make sure uh, all the holes are lined up Okay, so the next step in the assembly process has us opening the lid and they give you two gas struts to hold the lid up. One goes on each side. Um, so this is another place where the directions seem to be a little bit off. Uh, you read there, open cage lid, remove pre-installed screws, located in the brackets on the inside of the lid and slide panels, install the gas lift struts using the screws. Okay, so I assume they're saying there should be a screw or something in there. And there was no pre-installed screws on both sides. So all you do is you uh, thread the end of the strut into the brackets on both sides, uh, and get it started by hand, tighten it down with a wrench. But yeah, I don't know what they're talking about, pre-installed screws, uh, my unit did not have any. All right, so we got the gas struts on now. They're all tightened down. Uh, you're gonna need a 3 8 wrench to tighten those down. And as you can see, it pretty strong but all right so we're definitely making progress here um i just attached the pegboard to the back of the unit uh 
So the way we did that was there was just simply two screws on each side, ran them in, and we're slowly getting our way to an assembled workbench. Okay, so continuing on here, once again, the instructions let us down. Uh, you can see it says to attach the light support bracket to the underside of the cage panel, and that the light support bracket is packed in the box with the light. So I took the light out of the box, and there was no brackets in there. And I was about ready just to call it a day and get in the phone with Cobalt and be like, hey, I didn't get any brackets. And then if you look at the back of your hardware pack, which I just happened to glance down at, light support bracket. So if you buy one of these, uh, look at the hardware pack, your brackets are probably there. Okay, so the brackets are the little uh, silver pieces up there that just screw into place and the light snaps into place. Then you can run your cord through the light, through that little grommet there, and it gets plugged into the side there. So the last thing you do is you put your power strip on the side, it comes with a magnetic holder, and then you could uh, just plug in wherever. And uh, there's some hooks you can put on there as well. I didn't put them on, but uh, I guess I have to find a, a home for this. So when I did buy the workbench, I picked up a few other accessories here, both at Lowe's. Uh, I think together they were like, $15. So the workbench is $279 and then the accessories like $15. So I like $295 in this setup. So I'm going to go ahead here and uh, get this set up, get my garage finished over the next day or two, and then I'll check back in to finish this up and uh, show you what I'm doing with it. All right, everyone. Uh, checking back in here now that the workbench is together, as you can see. Um, got the garage kind of organized by the best it's been in probably five or six years. So I'm I'm pretty excited here to have this together and the garage kind of cleaned up and uh, ready to take on some projects. But anyway, uh, the workbench, it went together fairly easily. Uh, a couple snags, mainly in the directions, you know, they were wrong a couple times. But other than that, I'd probably say four out of ten on assembly, with uh, one being the easiest, ten being the hardest. Uh, nothing too difficult, you know, if I can put it together, it can't be that hard. Uh, just make sure everything lines up, leave your screws loose. Uh, Tilts together to make sure uh, you know all the holes line up before you before you tighten them down. A um, few things I did mention the accessories I bought. As you can see, the one still back there on the workbench. I didn't put that up yet. I haven't put anything on the pegboard. At least for me, you know, having these uh, two smaller drawers up top here, and we've got the large drawer. It uh, gave me enough room to get organized. But I'm sure at some point I'm going to be adding uh, the pegboard hooks and uh, hanging some stuff up there. One thing I will say, I had that large gray plastic piece that was like a screwdriver holder, don't buy that. It's junk. It doesn't fit. Uh, it doesn't line up with the holes in the pegboard, so it's useless. It's already going in the trash. Uh, one thing I did buy, you can see over here, there's some screwdrivers hanging. They were at Harbor Freight. Uh, I think they're like two bucks a piece. There's two of them there. So, uh, yeah, really, you probably go to Harbor Freight and buy whatever kind of pegboard accessories you need. Uh, a little cheaper than Lowe's. But overall, I'm happy with it. Um, it does have a light up here. To kind of have some more light on your work surface and uh, see underneath there I have a lot of my bagged uh, cordless tools, cordless tools, uh, kind of power tools down there and uh, you, know, you can see down here in the video there's a red light. I ended up putting a surge strip on the inside of the back leg because I have this storage shelf right here and it's up against the up against the power strip so I did mount that inside the leg. Um, other than that, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. You have the storage up here. I have some miscellaneous stuff up there. Uh, not quite done yet. Uh, before somebody makes a comment, yes, the vice is not mounted. The bench grinder is not mounted. I still got to do that. But uh, all in all, I'm happy with it. Uh, hopefully this video helped you out on assembly or if you're kind of on the fence whether to buy one or not, I'd recommend it. Uh, you know, for someone like myself, I'm, I'm just a hobbyist. This is, this is fun for me. You know, I just need a place to work, take something off the car. Whenever I get in here, I need a nice little uh, bench to work on that's lighted and uh, some extra tool storage. Uh, like I said, for someone like myself that just does this for fun, yeah, I definitely recommend this at the price point. And uh, if you like the video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up, uh, hit the subscribe button, and uh, leave your comments down below. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.